Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an online report using tab online marketing report using Tableau. So first, you know, let's say uh, you actually type in public.pablo.com. And then, you know, let's say you should be able to see your photo icon on the right side if you have already logged in. If not, please log in. So, you know, you can create your, you know, your uh, dashboards. And if you are if you have not registered yet, so please register using your personal email address, and then you should be able to, you know, uh, sign in as a user for this, you know, on this website. Okay, so let's click, you know, first step. We we are gonna click, you know, web authoring. So this allows you to publish a dashboard which you have already created to a website or web portal which could usually be your personal portfolio, okay? So we are gonna upload the data set from your local uh, computer, okay? And then click open. And then wait for a few mini seconds. And then, you know, we need to wait for Tableau to identify the data set. So to do this, we, we need to click update now. So once we click update now, you see here, you know, let's say we, we we found all of the columns in the data set. The first column we already have the, you know, we already have the locations. So we click this downward arrow so we can correctly identify the geographic rule of the locations, okay? Because it looks like we have different countries and then I click, you know, downward arrow and then we select geographic rule and then we are going to select country forward slash region. And you may also select city, county, or zip code if your data set is using a different, you know, type of location uh, manipulation, okay? So let's select country and uh, uh, region, okay? So click update now if you know if a data set needs to be updated again, okay? So once it's successfully identified, I mean the first column, you see here, you know, the icon for the first column is now changed to a uh, earth icon, okay? And then we are gonna still click, you know, spreadsheet one. So once we uh, select spreadsheet one, uh, it should allow us to open a spreadsheet in which we can, you know, let's say, uh, in which we can, you know, uh, build a dashboard, okay? So sometimes there are some delays, uh, in case your internet connection is not stable, which happened to me, you know, just now. But we are just going to refresh and hopefully, you know, let's say we can do it in the next few minutes, okay? So usually now, you know, let's say to create a map, the standard, you know, process to drag, you know, latitude to the rows shelf, and then drag, you know, longitude to the columns shelf, okay? And then I'm drag, you know, let's say, match locations to this marks icon, okay? Match locations to this mark icon. And then you, you see here marks icon, okay? And then you see here, you know, you're gonna see some blue dots on the map, which shows you all of the country names or all of the countries on the map, okay? So now the next step, since I want to draw a, a you know, a fee, an interactive dashboard, which includes number of impressions, uh, you know, at different location, at, at different, you know, a number of impressions at different locations, okay? So I'm dragging you know, impressions variable to the size icon, okay? So as I do that, you see here, you know, let's say this bubble size, they have changed, you know, have changed a little bit based on the scale of the data set, okay? Scale this variable. So next we are gonna click, you know, save mark, mark labels, and then we want to make sure we show the mark labels, okay? As the next, I think uh, you can do something to beautify your map a little bit. So we click map and we select background maps, and then we are going to select, you know, streets, okay, streets. And then, you know, this lab probably makes, you know, looks a little bit better, okay? So now we are gonna publish this dashboard, okay? To publish, we click Publish As, okay? So we are gonna use AdWords, 
and then you know impressions okay adwords impressions and you can add a year you know if you really know the year of the data set okay let's probably use 2021 okay and then click publish okay so i think you know now wait for a few mini seconds and then that dashboard should be available and uh and then, you know, let's say the second job I want you guys to work on is to create a dashboard which shows the number you number of clicks at different locations, okay? So to do that, now since your dashboard is still open, so I'm going to take a shortcut. So I'm going to actually, uh, you know, drag these impressions back to this original space. And then I'm going to drag, you know, let's say clicks to the size icon under the marks panel okay now you see the second dashboard is ready and the, the, there's a little trick so do not click publish yet so you want to click this downward arrow and then select pu publish as okay because this will be a different dashboard so let's use adder adwords um clicks as in maybe 2021 and then click publish, okay? So now congratulations, your sec second dashboard is published, okay? Now, uh, there is also a different way to look at this data, okay? Maybe you want to identify the top locations and there's also a little trick. So click show me, and then you see here, you know, there are many different ways to actually reorganize this variable which will be number of clicks. So we are going to actually click this bubble chart and we will see how it looks like, okay? Let's we click bubble chart and it allows you to identify the top five or top locations that, you know, your campaign has, you know, generate any interest, okay? So Pakistan, you see number 18 clicks and, and Tanzania, 16 clicks, and Bangladesh 21, and then maybe India 24. So now, you know, see here, you know, let's say, if you want to publish again, so let's see, AdWords, AdWords, um, you know, clicks, as in bubble chart, okay? Now we click publish. And then, you know, let's say again, wait for maybe a few mini seconds. And then once you see the original interface again, and you know, probably it's already published, but let's double check again, because you want to make sure it's published. You want to make sure, you know, let's say when you, when you, when you submit your dashboard or probably post a dashboard to the public space, maybe, you know, some other people can find the link. So let's enter public.tableau.com. And then, you know, let's say, uh, click your photo icon on the right side and my profile. And then here, you know, let's say we have the bubble chart we just created. We also have AdWords clicks 2021. We also have AdWords underscore impressions 2021, which we just created. Okay, congratulations. Now you have created three different charts with our dashboards, which showcase, you know, um, number of clicks, the number of impressions in different ways, okay? Thank you for watching. So please consider subscribing to my channel and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.